Hi, John Spiegel, Field CTO for HPE Aruba Networking SSE. And today we're here to talk about two of my good friends, VPN and ZTNA. Back in the 90s, I was working for a global retailer, and one of my first projects was deploying a VPN solution. And it was a great technology back in the day. I was able to access all of my key applications like a CRM, my file server. It was like being on the network, and I was behind the corporate firewall. But then something changed. Cloud came into the picture. And my good friend here, VPN, started to have some challenges. For instance, if I needed to access my new solutions, the SaaS application, let's call it Salesforce, I needed to go all the way back to the data center, hit the VPN, and then come back out. The result was my applications started to slow down. It also was risky for the business because if I had third parties or contractors on the network, I had to place them directly on my network. That represents a great risk. And then finally, because of all the security treatments I had to add onto my solution, the solution became very complex. So VPN, what if we upgrade you? What would that look like? Oh, meet my friend, ZTNA, or Zero Trust Network Access. Built for the modern age, where applications are not only within your data center, but also in the cloud. Meet security and a network acceleration with a cloud-delivered network, built on top of the giants, AWS, Azure, and Google, and Google Cloud as well but also leveraging the principles of zero trust, least privilege, only allowing access to the applications or data that you need to run your business. How does it work? Essentially what happens is we ask a series of questions about the user or the device. Identity is at the cornerstone of the product. So we ask a question, is the person in the IDP? This could be Ping, Azure AD, or maybe Okta. Finally, if they are, we can start to ask questions about the device. What is its posture? Is the firewall still on? Or does it meet a certain level? Or is there a corporate certificate? If the system does pass those requirements and it passes the device state check, we then broker that connection through our cloud and it can be multiple clouds. It's essentially running on top of, of all of these clouds and then do the security treatments as close as possible to the user or the application. Thus, you're getting both speed and performance. If the application lives in the data center, again, we broker that connection. We're making sure that the network or the device is not on the network and neither is the user. So we can bring that connection all the way down through the firewall to the file server and the person can access those files. Now, what happens if you have a contractor or a third party and we don't want to put an agent on their device? There's another solution. It's called agentless. This works great for a third party or a contractor because it basically provides them the same least privileged access to that application or to that data without placing them on the network. At the end of the day, what is the outcome for you, the business? It's really about this. It's about being smart with how you deploy your network as assets. Deploy them close to the application. Remove the barrier of slowness that we saw with VPN by having to, to hairpin all of this traffic through the data center. It's about a modern approach to being secure by not putting the user or the device directly on the network. It's also about having those security treatments as close as possible to the application or user. And finally, simplicity. Simplicity is the friend of security. By bringing together all the elements that we previously leveraged in the data center, we can secure our networks in a much simpler way. Want to thank you for your time. If you want more information, please visit our website.